Hi, this is Judd with Presenter Media. Thanks for joining me in this video. I'm titling, What's Your Perspective? So let's get started. I'm signed into Presenter Media and I go down, I'm gonna go down to the area that says newest designs and animations and click on view more. Then I'm gonna scroll and look for an item to customize. And I'm gonna customize this graphic here that um, the text is kind of going at a perspective. That's why I'm, I'm titling this, What's Your Perspective? Um, so I'm gonna click on customize this item right here the button and that will open up this uh, graphic inside the customizer app where I can start changing the text very quickly here and I'm going to change the text over here underneath quick edit and then underneath quick text edit and I'm going to title this Ted's uh, delivery service and you can see um, the text kind of jumped to two lines which doesn't look the best over there so what you need to do is um, you can just click into the delivery service um, text uh, edit area and that will select the uh, perspective box here um, the perspective group box and what that is it just contains the text inside this group and to edit the group you just need to click on edit perspective and then once you're set inside the group um, the perspective group there you can click over here underneath quick edit again um, just click delivery service because um, that's the one we want to change that jumped to two lines and with that selected I'm going to go up to the top menu and find the big T and little t and click on that and drag the slider down until it fits inside there fits inside the area that looks good and um, you'll need to be inside this perspective group to change the colors of the text if you choose to change if you choose to change the colors of the text or if you want to change the font um, style of the text. I'm going to leave the font style but you could click up here and change the font style um, or bold it if you want to. Different options up here if you need to. Uh, I'm going to click click the color picker up here and I'm just going to change it to a red and that looks good. Once I'm done I'm going to click this uh, close group editor and now you can see that that is now red on there and it looks good and i'm going to change where it says logistics also down here and i'm going to change it to got to go fast um my, my kids listen to a song i don't know who it's by it's like a sonic the hedgehog song but it just says gotta go fast all the time now it's stuck in my head so that's what i'm changing it to also going to copy that so i don't have to type it back out i'm going to paste it and it also changes this um, perspective area up here. Um, I could delete this out if I wanted to by just selecting it and hitting, hitting delete on my keyboard or I could select everything all the perspective groups and delete them out if I just want the, the truck and once I have it done I'm gonna go down to uh, the download area I'm gonna click on extra large just to download the, the largest size and click build and download and that's ready for me to save I can either download it or save it to my media I'm gonna save it to my media so um, just to let you know what my media my media is you probably know but uh, if you don't it's where all your customizable designs um, go after you customize them if you save them there um, so I'm gonna just close out of this now window uh, right here with this X where it says build another and I'm gonna go back to I'm just gonna click the back button a couple times to get back to this window and I'm gonna find another item to customize let's customize this telescope so uh, click customize this item and I'm gonna change it to um, our company vision okay that looks good our company vision and that's ready to roll I'm gonna click extra large build and download save to my media once again and to access my media on the website you just click up here my media and uploads and i'll open that up and you can see those two projects are waiting to be downloaded i can redo them i can delete them or i can click to save them forever if you're on the basic free version of presenter media you won't be able to save your items so they'll be deleted after um, so many days so just remember that if you want to save your items you need to upgrade uh, to the unlimited plan okay let's go over to PowerPoint and 
Um, right now I'm starting from a, a blank slide. If you're if you're watching this video from the newsletter, you have read my story of when I started this, you know, this video. Um, uh, this is my many takes on the video, but uh, when I started doing this video, um, I've, I've created the newsletter in the meantime, but just looking at this blank area gave me like uh, anxiety and overwhelming feeling like I I have to start from scratch on this this slide and um, I, I, I'm guessing you've felt the same way before having to start something from nothing or scratch so that's why present presenter media is here is to help you um, get over that initial um, starting from scratch phase we jump it over it bypass it by using our graphics and design so let us do the work uh, for you there okay so I have the presenter media add-in installed over here on the right if you don't have this installed I would recommend installing it if you use PowerPoint a lot because um, it's going to allow you to just load animations directly into PowerPoint or templates right into PowerPoint without ever having to go to the website and, and downloading them to, to your computer first. So um, to install that, you just go over to Home up in the top menu and then go over to the right where it says Add-ins. Click on that. Then go to More Add-ins and go Search Presenter Media in this little search box. Click the Search button. Click Add and follow the instructions and it will be installed on your um, your options underneath the Home um, tab up here. And it'll be all the way to the far right, say Presenter Media, click on that. Uh, down here you'll sign in just as you would the website and you'll get this, um, this, this pane over here uh, will open with all these options. So um, I'm going to click on My Media right here. Your menu might look a little different than this. Uh, this is um, I have it. This is my multi-seat account, so it has a little more stuff up in the, the the header up here. But yours probably won't have all that stuff, and it will look a little bit uh, cleaner than this. Okay, so um, I want I'm going to open up this um, this delivery truck one that we customized by just clicking Add to this presentation, <clears throat> and you can see that's now on my blank. Um, slide which if you just want to go with a blank slide with a um, you know with one image that's fine and put some text on it um, you can go a little further and add a design behind the background and I'm gonna do that now by clicking on template slides right here in the cust or in the presenter media app and then I'm gonna go search by templates and then search for I'm just gonna search for design and that looks good I'm going to just click on this second one here. Okay, need to find a slide. I'm just going to open up this first slide here. Just click on the plus sign and that loads in. I'm going to close out of that. And I'm going to delete these instructions out. And now I'm going to go to that first slide that I loaded in and click copy. So I right clicked on the image, copy, and then I can right click and go paste. That looks good. You could also also use the hotkeys, Control C, Control V on a on a PC Windows machine. Okay, so I'm going to move this around. I'm going to change the size of this text right here. That looks good. If I want that, I'm going to delete this icon out. And I'm just using the design of this this template we offer as the background. So that looks good. I could put my logo up here by just right clicking, change picture, and finding the logo on my computer. Okay, so I'm going to add another slide in here. So what I want to do is click on template slides again. And this time, actually, I'm going to type in design again and go to templates. And now when I find this, um, this template I want to use, I want to click on this star right here. And I've already clicked on it, so it's, it's highlighted. You can see it's filled in. Um, if I haven't, it won't be filled in. So that's going to save to my favorites. So if I click on favorites up here in the top right, um, go to the second page. I have a lot of favorites in here. You see that the item is now in here that I can click on and use. So it's easy to find stuff when you save it and use it later. So I'm going to click on this second slide. And this last slide, which is kind of a quote slide, and close out of this. 
and drag that one to the bottom. I'm just going to delete the instructions out of this template. That looks good. I'm also going to delete these elements right here. So um, what I'm doing is just clicking, left clicking on the mouse and dragging over all of them and hitting delete all these elements. These I didn't get quite get. Okay, so because you don't want to drag on the, the slide, otherwise you'll move elements around. That looks good. I'm going to delete the the top part too, or that top title um, text. And I'm going to go back to my media, and I'm going to load this telescope in. All right, so that looks good. And it, when you load a new um, image in, it will go over the top of everything. You can see I can't select this text now. Um, so I can just, I just want to move it out of the way, move that graphic out of the way. Uh, right click on the text. You might have to select it and then right click on the, the box that goes around that like dotted line that goes around the text. Right click on that and say bring to front. And now I can, can move that and move this down. So it says our company vision. And then in this spot, I could actually put the company vision and um, I kind of delete that icon out too. So now I got these two elements and I'm going to load in uh, one element. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to do something here. If you want to keep following along with me, um, kind of, this kind of gives you the, the idea of what you can do now uh, with these perspective um, graphics. Uh, you can keep following along. I'm going to show you how to uh, change the, the colors of this this these backgrounds. So um, I have this orange in here. If I didn't want that, uh, I could go up to the top where it says design and go to the far right and click on this little just drop down. That's how you access the colors and click on colors. And I'm going to just click on this gray one. So it's going to turn everything to gray. So it's going to make these images pop out more. Uh, the color of those. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this slide, let's say it's somebody's birthday and I want to add a slide to call out them on their birthday. Maybe it's the boss, you know. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go to new designs because I know there's one in these new designs. There's a birthday cake right here. So without leaving the, um, without leaving present or PowerPoint, I can now customize this right in PowerPoint. So I'm going to happy birthday, Ted, you know, Ted, he's, um, he owns the, the delivery service. He's the delivery um, owner of that, uh, that, that service. So it's his birthday. So um, I changed that. Now it says happy birthday, Ted. I'm just going to build and customize that and click add to slide right here. Once that's done, and close out of that and you can see that loads right into my I'm going to delete that icon out right in my into my um, slide there and I'm going to select these two elements these are two separate elements I just hold shift on my keyboard and I can select both and I'm going to move this this like element out of the way I'm going to move it down here I could delete it out too but oh, come on move down there, there we go all right, so move these around there. All right, so happy birthday, Ted. And then maybe Ted has the saying every day he says, like, um, I know like this, my high school teacher, or I think it's elementary school. He would, every time class would end, he'd say, carpe diem, go seize the day. So maybe Ted says something like that every time you come into work. And you, you add it in here as a, his quote, um, kind of, Raz him on his birthday a little bit. So, okay, so now I got another slide with uh, another standout element uh, for Ted's birthday. Um, if you want to be done watching, you can be done watching. I'm just kind of going over some things in PowerPoint just to kind of show you some cool things you can do. So you can keep following along if you want. Um, I'm going to show you a magic trick here. Um, if you want to keep watching, um, you're going to be amazed. So just hang on a second. If you have any other questions, you know, or 
other tutorials tutorials you want to see you know just leave a comment below in this video if you're on YouTube you can leave a comment you know in the, the in the comments and I can see that if you have any other questions or anything like that so yeah if you you're signing off goodbye thank you for joining me on this video if you're following along and keeping going yes come with me we're gonna keep going all right magic trick I'm gonna show you right now okay so um, I'm gonna go back into my media right here and <clears throat> I'm gonna click on this telescope and click redo and that will open up in the customizer okay let's say I want this um, telescope facing the other way now if I did that if I flip it it's gonna be look weird it's gonna the text is gonna look weird so what you need to do first is um, click on edit perspective so I, I selected the text that's perspective right here click edit perspective like we did before um, I can make this window go out more if I want <clears throat> select the text inside now the group editor um, I have the text selected and I want to go up to align and click flip horizontal and now close and there you go you say I can't read that text at all anymore and I would agree with you but let's do something here let's go down to the downloads in the bottom right and click build a uh, custom item and now click add to slide okay I'm gonna close out of this window and I'm gonna I'm gonna delete that other um, graphic the other telescope graphic I had so now it's loaded into my slide and you say that's still I still can't read it you would be correct now with the the image selected I go up to the top menu and go to pitch, uh, picture format go to the right where it says rotate and then click flip horizontal and I don't have any kind of mad like a magician goes uh, abracadabra no that's voila there voila that's that's my ending that's for my magic trick voila okay uh, I'm gonna bring that text to front over here and so now I got my company vision facing the other way kind of just if these slides were all in a row it kind of adds a little more dynamic to it where they're not all facing the same way you see how that this one's going that way this one's going that way that way so yeah basically that's it that's uh that's how you um, would add a an uh graphic element that you just customize to powerpoint and then use our, our slides to create a nice background for it and design that the the standout element would go over so it's not just a blank a blank slide to start with you can you can actually start with like a design so yeah there you go um yeah thanks for joining me on this video again if you have any questions yeah comment below if you want to see any other kind of tutorials let me know um yep i'm going to sign off here on this one again saying goodbye thanks for joining me on this video and um, if you're on youtube don't forget to either sub subscribe to our channel or just like this video um, if you like it if you don't like it i don't think there's a thumbs down so well you i guess just uh send me a personal message saying you don't like it and i'm sorry uh if you don't like it uh, i hope it was helpful and yeah uh, have a great day uh, we'll see you on the next video bye bye <music>